Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another GCSE Maths Question of the Week. You know how this works by now. Every week I pick you out a delightful GCSE Maths question. You have a go at it, and then we talk it through on this video. Now, I've got an absolute treat for you today because this is brand new content to the GCSE Maths exam. It looks a little bit like something you might have seen before, but it's got a devilish little twist to it, and it is functions. So you'll have seen this f of x, but normally you'll see that in the context of graphs, transforming functions, minus f of x, f to the minus x, and so on. And we did a question of the week on that a couple of weeks ago, so have a quick look back at that. But this is different, look at this. Which is the correct expression to show f g of x? What the flipping heck is that on about? Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, Prior to this year, the only time I've taught this is to my A-level class um, in the Core 3 exam, so Year 13. Because the name of this topic, if you want to look it up on MrBartonMaths.com or anywhere else, is called Composite Functions. I'll tell you what, I reckon my writing is improving a little bit. It's still rubbish, but getting a little bit better. And you spot Composite Functions if they look like that. If you've got two functions that have basically been stuck together. That's your kind of way of spotting. Now, how the flipping out to composite functions work? Well, I think of it kind of in terms of a Christmas present, all right? So imagine your present is X. The first layer that X has been wrapped up in is G of X. So you get X and you wrap it up in G of X, and G of X is gonna be a bit of X squared plus five. So we're gonna get something out of that. Now, once it's wrapped up in G of X, the next kind of layer that it gets wrapped up into is going outwards here. It then gets wrapped up into F of X and then what comes out the other side. So the only thing you've, well, there's a few things you've got to be careful of, but the main thing is you're going outwards, okay? It starts with X, it gets wrapped up in G of X first and becomes something new, and that that then gets wrapped up in F of X and becomes something new again, okay? So I'll show you how this actually works with the maths behind it, because it's not actually too bad. So we take X, and first it gets wrapped up in G of X, so it becomes X squared plus Okay, not too bad there. Now, be careful with this bit. So f of x, the function f of x, which is our final layer of wrapping, is defined as 2x plus 1. Now, notice something here. If I treat myself to a little, let's go a bit green here, I think, for this one, a little green highlighter. X is your input. That's the thing going in the function. And all f of x is saying is, whatever's going into your function, I want you to times it by 2, and then add one onto the other side. Now, our new function isn't x anymore, it's just x squared plus five, because look, that thing there is gonna be x squared plus five once it's gone through g of x, and then that then gets stuck inside f of x. So all we're doing this time, instead of doing two lots of x plus one, all we're gonna do, and if I go for a bit of orange here, maybe something like that, we're gonna do two lots of x squared plus five and then do plus one. See all I've done there? I've changed my input. My input's no longer just x. My input is x squared plus five. So it's two lots of x squared plus five plus one. And then it's just the case of expanding the brackets. So we get two x squared, two times five I reckon is 10, plus me one. So I end up with two x squared plus 11. Is that one of my answers? Whew. Yes, it is there. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, I know I always say this, but it's dead, dead, dead important this time. If you have a look where some of these wrong answers have come from. Now, your first one is a deadly one, 2x squared plus six. Can you see where you might have got that from? Well, what about if you were here? What about if you were at this stage and you thought to yourself, okay, so I've got to do two lots of my input plus one. So let's do two lots of x squared plus five plus one. See what's happened there? You're gonna end up with two lots of x squared plus six, but look what you've not done. Cause you've not put your brackets in there. Cause you've not realized that your input isn't just x squared, it's x squared plus five. So it's two lots of my input, two lots of x squared plus five. You're gonna miss out times in that five by two. So you're gonna end up with your two x squared plus six. Dangerous, dangerous. Where would some of these other ones come from? Well, imagine, and this will be a good bit of extra revision for you. Imagine you did it the wrong way around. So imagine instead you started with f of x. So you had 2x plus one, and then you inputted that into g of x. So my new input is no longer x, it's x squared. So imagine you had 2x plus one squared 
plus five on the outside. Now I reckon if you work that out, you end up with four X squared plus four X plus one plus five, which I reckon is gonna give you that one. So I reckon C is actually G F of X. Beautiful bit of maths to get that bit right, but the function's been done the wrong way around. And finally, what about this one? 2x cubed plus 5. Well, I reckon this comes from some kind of dodgy combination of these two things. Saying, okay, fg, maybe that means we take f and times it by g. So maybe 2x times x squared is 2x cubed, and 1 times 5 is 5. So some dodgy multiplication and manipulation of algebra. So you gotta be careful with these functions. And just before you go, what other wrong answer would you include? Well, I reckon you can do a similar kind of mess up here. I reckon that if people think f g of x just means times them together, you'll get students doing this. 2x plus one times x squared plus five, multiplying out those brackets, maybe even doing it correctly, ending up with a cubic, but it's not gonna be quite the right answer. So what's my golden rules for composite functions? I personally think of it as being wrapped up in presence. So X is your present, it gets wrapped up in G of X first. So sort out G of X, that gives you X squared plus five, and then substitute X squared plus five into your F of X to get your final answer. So it kind of works the opposite way around as that you'd think, but it's important you have that depth of understanding of why that occurs. And then it's just manipulation of algebra and substitution. A lot of this new GCSE is that, it's topics that sound new, but are actually just common combinations of old topics. So if you need further practice on this, look up composite functions on mrbartonmaths.com or any other of the uh, really good websites that are out there and try the rest of this quiz out um, on diagnostic questions. It's a flipping classic. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye for now.